The Air Gun Advisor is brought to you today by Baker Air Guns, Air Guns of Arizona, High Pressure Pneumatics, and Tracked Optics. You'll find links to these and more in the descriptions down below. How is everybody doing? I am Chad Kettner, your Air Gun Advisor, and I would like to welcome you back to the show. If this happens to be your first time visiting, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, especially if you get something out of this video. That really is the payment I need from you guys back home. It doesn't cost you anything, but it shows that you enjoyed the content and you're supporting content creators like myself. So please do that for us. Um, today I'm going to be not talking about air guns though. I'm talking about optics and an optic company you may not be familiar with and that's Tracked Optics. So I'm going to ask you to step outside of that worn path of optics that you're used to and try something or at least look at something new. And today that is Tracked Optics with their hunting series of scopes known as the Toric UHD 2.5 by 15, I should say 2.5, 215 by 44 millimeter scope. Now, what is Tracked Optics? For those of you who haven't heard of them, it's a company out of Pennsylvania. Their scopes are engineered and designed right in Pennsylvania, so it's an American-based company, and they do have their scopes manufactured, yes, manufactured in Japan. And what do you get for that? Well, it means you're gonna get a very high-quality scope. The glass in these is top-notch, and you're gonna get one heck of a great warranty, and we'll talk about warranty at the very end of this video. So let's start with outside aesthetics and what you got here. First and foremost, the color. I love this color, especially if you happen to be picking up one of those gray laminate stocks from whether it be a day state, a raw, an FX, Viroc, any of those that happen to come with gray laminate. Man, it just really sets this scope off and it matches. I like things that match, what can I say? What else do you get though? You get a 30 millimeter tube. So nice large air uh, cylinder tube for you. And it is filled with argon gas. And for those of you who don't remember your chemistry lessons from high school, let me remind you that argon gas is one of the noble gases. And that means it is less likely to react to changes in the atmosphere and atmospheric temperatures. So you're not going to get nearly the shift of impact as a scope heats up or cools down throughout the day that you might get while shooting field target or out in the field hunting. So that is a great thing. So other than the color and the 30 millimeter tube, which I know you guys see on all of their scopes, let's talk about this elevation turret for a second. It is a step turret, meaning you're gonna have to raise it up and push it down to lock it. It's accessible without removing any kind of cap comes with a uh, zero stop so you can set it to exactly the zero that you want when you get your gun set up and it, one click on this turret equals a quarter MOA so you're going to get some nice and precise adjustments as well as providing 30 MOA of adjustment in the elevation. On the side, you're also going to notice there's a side turret there, which is your horizontal or windage turret. And again, it's very nice. It's capped. I like that it's capped because most of the time as air gunners or shooters, when we're hunting, we're going to have to just change our elevation to get dialed in. And that keeps that windage turret from being knocked around or exposed to the elements. Speaking of elements, let's talk about the scope's waterproof abilities. This is waterproof down to three meters. Now, I'm not expecting you to go out and dump this in the swamp and see if it can hold at zero and everything still works all right. What that means to me is that if you're a hunter, field target shooter, and you're out on a rainy day, this thing is going to be able to withstand the elements, take the elements, and you don't have to worry about it rusting out, becoming faulty, or getting, absor getting water absorbed into any of the tubes and so forth. So nice feature there. And again, if it were, we'll talk about the warranty here in just a little bit. Side focus. Yes, this has a side focus on it, which I absolutely love. And I think all air gunners have come to love. Uh, it is a focus that starts at yeah, I pause there because I know you're wondering. Starts at 10 meters. So for us air gun shooters out there, it gets close enough, but then it also goes out to infinity. So you have plenty of distance and focus ability to mark for those close shots as well as for those further shots. So I do love that. Um, the magnification ring is two and a half to 15. Now I would have loved to have seen a 16X zoom on there, especially for you field target shooters. But I'm gonna go down a limb here 
Now I'm gonna say you don't need that 16X necessarily. Not much difference between 15 and 16. And your ability, or I should say the ability of this scope to come and produce a crystal clear image as well as a very crisp reticle and a very fine tuning parallax adjustment kind of knocks that off the table for me. Would I still like to see 16X? Sure. But is it a deal breaker? No. Matter of fact, I really want to try this scope on field target. It's going to kill it out there, to be quite honest, because it is so crisp that I, have, I, can, I can't see it failing, to be honest. So uh, keep that in mind. Now, you do also have the quick focus eyepiece on there. It doesn't have that separate ring to lock it down, but it's smooth, but stiff enough that you're not going to just bump that eyepiece out of place. And of course it comes with a three inch sunshade, which we have all come to expect from these higher price scopes. What about the inside other than the argon gas that is inside of the 30 millimeter tube? Well, so we have multi-coated high transmission glass with extra low dispersion ED lenses. The glass is a etched MOA reticle. It's also available in mill radians if you want. So I know there's two camps, some that like MOA, some that like mill radians. You have your choice in this scope. I happen to have the MOA version here. Speaking of MOA, let's take a look at that reticle. We have a very clear, very precise reticle in there with the large hash marks representing five MOA. And you'll notice that's breaking down into smaller hash marks that represent one MOA. And if you look at the extreme edges of the reticle, you're going to notice there's even finer adjustment with 0.5 MOA hash marks in between there. So at those extreme distances or where you're working with the extreme edges of the reticle, you can really get a precise measurement. It is also first focal plane. And that means that regardless of what zoom you choose, and you're going to notice that I have that throw lever on here again, because I like to use that zoom when I'm out hunting or when I'm out at the range and I just want to get zoomed in or zoom out, your holdovers, your uh, impact points are not going to change if you change the zoom. On a second focal plane, that would happen, but a first focal plane, that does not happen. And that is another reason why I absolutely love this scope. I'm a huge fan of the first focal plane scope. Maybe we can do a whole lesson on that at another day. Some features. What are the features that I really, really love? So there's two of them. The first one is the fact that Tract Optics has their very own Tract Trust Assurance Warranty. That's a mouthful, but what does that do? Well, that guarantees that the product is good for the lifetime of the product that it doesn't matter if you're the original purchaser or not, and you don't need any kind of paperwork or receipt to exchange it or to have it worked on if something goes wrong. That is awesome. You can check that warranty out on their website, but that is it. And then also customer service. John and John are the owners, the engineers, and the designers of their scopes, and they stand behind their product. Matter of fact, if you go on their website and look at the customer reviews, you're gonna notice that oftentimes if there's anything goes wrong, well, who's responding? Well, it's either John or John, one of the two owners, and they will take care of you. And I love dealing with small businesses for just that reason. Guys, I really encourage you to go out, check out the Tract Toric Hunting Series line of scopes from Tract Optics. If you enjoyed the review, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below if you got questions. Until next time though, make sure those pellets fly straight and your trigger pull stays smooth. And we'll see you right here on the Airgun Advisor.